Welcome back to another episode of Raoul's World of Sense. I am Raoul. This time we're going to be looking at the A163 in combination with our friend the A196 phase lock loop module by Dofer. Um, in the last video, we were talking about modulation of the voltage control frequency divider. And then prior to that, we did some of the basics of this module, how it operates and so forth. Um, this time we're focusing specifically on frequency multiplication. And uh, this is actually a patch from the A196 manual, if you look it up online. And I will uh, kind of insert a link on the video page for this uh, so you can check it out. Uh, on page seven, there is a patch that if you take a look, I'm gonna put it up on the screen for you that is going to allow us to do some frequency multiplication, which produces some very interesting sounds uh, from my tests, uh, but as well as in your patches, possibly you may want to use this as well. Um, so let's look here at the patch that we got. I already did most of it here just to save us some time. Um, but if you look over at the diagram, I'll kind of point out some of the important parts of this. Um, First part that's pretty important is going to be over at N number two of the A196. That's going to be for the pulse or square wave. So if you look on our patch, that's going to be this right here. That's going to be going into number two. Now, normally I would patch it straight into there, but what I have going on now is I'm going to be patching it over here, right there at the multiple, and then that is going into in number two, right there. So this is actually getting you know multiplied several times over here. And the reason for this is I wanted to be able to send it to two locations. Now this one's gonna be going to the number two input right there. This one is going into the VCA right here so we can hear it. And then the red one is actually gonna be going into an oscilloscope so we can actually see it as well. So that's why it's not a straight patch into that. Um, now, in the patch, let's go back to the manual. Um, after we do input number two, the output at the top actually runs all the way over to our A163, as you can see right there. Let's look at it in the patch. So that's the output right here, going into the input of our frequency divider right there. And then let's look back at the patch. The output right, right there is going to be going over into input one of the A196. So let's look at that. Output of the A163 going into input number one of the phase comparator section of the A196. Now it is recommended that you have it in, let's see, phase comparator number two mode, which is what I switched it in. Uh, if you want to know more about the modes, I would suggest maybe going and checking out the full series on the A196. But for now, I'll just note that uh, in the manual, it does suggest that you have it in uh, mode number two of the phase comparator right there. And then let's see, I think that's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much the guts of the patch because we have the, the input going into signal in there. And then we have that output here going into the input there, output of the frequency divider, then going up into input number one. And then the final out on our patch in the manual, you can see down there at the bottom, creating that kind of very close pulse wave uh, is gonna be right here, the output here. And then that's gonna be going over into the lower section of the multiple right over here. And so I have that going one time over into the VCA so we can hear it. And then the second time it's gonna be going into our scope so we can see it as well. So let's get this patched up and then we can kind of go from there. So all I have to do is take this one waveform and patch it right up here and we should be in business. There we go. So there's what it sounds like. And then just for an experiment, I'm going to switch the octaves. There we go. One down, we went down one octave. Go back to where we were before. And then just for an experiment, I'm going to go up a little bit. Okay. 
And then I'm just going to choose an octave that we're going to go into the next part of this patch here. But let's look at the scope and see what's actually happening. So our red waveform over there is the initial waveform coming from our A110 over here. And then the green waveform is what's coming out from the phase lock loop right there. So that's the green waveform over at the scope. So you can kind of get an idea as to what's going on here. So now if I make an adjustment to our frequency divider, I can adjust the patch. But I can also make a minor adjustment over here at the A196 if I wanted to. Because this is adjusting the VCO section. This is just uh, to get the little nuances of the patch. And so that, in a nutshell, is just kind of the skeleton of the patch. Um, for the next part of this, I, I thought I would uh, maybe make it a little more interesting. So I thought we'd patch some pitches into this. So if you look down at our sequencer, have some pitches kind of sequenced over here, set this top row right here, uh, going out via this green cable. And I'm going to patch them up into the quantizer right here, which is just kind of hanging out. And then I'm going to take the quantized output of this, which is looks like playing in major scale, take the CV out, and then patch into the CV input of our oscillator. And it's kind of a nice gritty kind of sound. I can make some adjustments here. Now, if I take out the phase lock loop version right here at our VCA, that's just our VCO by itself. This is our phase lock loop. Let's take the VCO out so we can hear. That's just the phase lock loop portion of it, or the frequency multiplied version. Let's put them both, both back together, and get a mix that we like. Now what'll sound a little bit better, kind of in context, is if we shape this VCA a little bit. So I'm gonna bring the gain all the way down and then I just happen to have an envelope patched up, which if you look down at our sequencer, you can see right here our trigger outputs are going out via a red cable right there over to a uh, envelope, which is off camera. But just trust me, it's over there. Um, and then it's coming back into this little cable, which I'm gonna take and patch up to our VCA right here. And then now we can kind of adjust a few things over here. And so that in a nutshell is kind of the skeleton of the frequency multiplication patch. And so now, as it says, you can create kind of a uh, voltage controlled frequency multiplication by inserting a modulation signal here. Now you could use an LFO uh, or a CV or a joystick or anything like that. Uh, just so happens if you look down at our sequencer, I actually have this lower row kind of set so that it's going from very low to very high. And then it kind of just goes all the way up. So that's actually coming out of this lower output, which might need to move this a little bit, but right here via this cable. We're going to take that and patch it into the CVN of our frequency divider. I'm going to bring the CV input all the way up. This is just an experiment sound, just to show you that you can actually do it here. So results will vary. Now in your patches, uh, you can patch exactly the type of sound you want, and if you take your time, you can kind of get a really good uh, defined sound that you're looking for. You know, you might want it a little lower, you might want it a little bit higher, depending on your taste. So it's all up to you. Um, at any rate, I, I did want to go through that patch. Now, the only other thing I wanted to mention is while the frequency multiplication patch is pretty cool, and you can get some very interesting sounds out of it, 
uh, prescribed the Face Comparator 2 version, um, there's actually some very wild sounds that will erupt if you switch over into the other Face Comparator modes, like uh, number 3, I think there's some pretty weird sounds that come out of there. If you look at the scope over there, we're getting something very different in that mode right there. You can make little adjustments to that. Try Phase Comparator 1 real quick. So, just wanted to show that, you know, there's quite a bit of variety that can be achieved with this little block that was initially set for frequency multiplication. So, at any rate, I hope you found that this video was useful at least getting kind of a, maybe a skeleton of this patch going in, in your own modular system, or maybe you got to hear something that you hadn't heard before. Um, hope this series in general was useful to you. Uh, please leave any comments uh, on the website for this video, uh, as well as any of the others. Uh, if you haven't already, I would recommend maybe checking out the, I'm gonna patch this for a moment. Um, I would recommend checking out the phase lock loop uh, video series, kind of go back and maybe refresh if you haven't seen this in quite a while and can't remember what all these different modes are in the A196. Um, but that is going to wrap up our series on the A163. It's been a pretty fun series. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I have planned, but uh, I'm trying to decide because I just received a couple of modules in the mail uh, which way we're going to go. So I'm going to leave it kind of as a mystery for now, um, and then we'll see you next week. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.